Shalom Yashra, Shalom Yashra. It's your brother Yah. Shh. Otherwise known as Jah. Shh. Otherwise known as Yahweh. Peace and blessings. Uh, just got up this morning and noticed that there was an earthquake in Italy. And uh, specifically highlighted is this town, Akamoli, A C C U M O L I. It says a powerful earthquake devastated a string of mountainous towns in central Italy on Wednesday, trapping residents under piles of rubble, killing at least 38 people and leaving thousands homeless. Do we not have floodings going on here in the United States? What's, what's, what's the big deal, you know? The quake struck in the early hours of the morning when most residents were asleep, raising homes, that's R-A-Z-I-N-G, meaning totally uprooting homes and buckling roads in a cluster of communities some 140 kilometers east of Rome. That's 85 miles east of Rome. So it should be obvious that the Most High is making his way to the seat of Satan. It should be obvious. So this should be an alarm to all you camps out there who still follow Jesus Christ, right? You better look. Earth, <laughs> Earth is moving towards you, right? You camps of Dathan out there, the Earth is coming for you. I try to warn y'all, I try to tell you, but now, hey, it's out of my hands. It's in the hands of the earth. So, yeah. Being recorded right now. <laughs> so everybody, that was uh, Denise talking to me about work. That's just the way it goes, man. It's all work. Yeah, back to this. You know how brothers say, put in that work, put in that work. And it sounds messed up, but the, the kind of work we put in causes these earthquakes. And I try to tell brothers and sisters that, man, is that we're spiritual people and we're connected to all of this and all the goings on that's here. So the reason why I'm highlighting this earthquake, it's not that there's not any earthquakes going on all over the world, but this one in particular hit a string of towns 85 miles east of Rome. So, you know, the way these devils work is on the left-hand side, right? So, if spiritually Yahweh's spirit enters the temple from the east side of your spirit, then on the left-hand side, the devil spirits enter into Rome from the east side because they make a mockery of the temple, right? And this is things that we continue to tell y'all. I'm just, I'm just, and I'm just highlighting, man, that it all, it all means something. And I know it sounds like, you know, brothers and sisters out there are like, man, I didn't, I had no idea that we were connected like that through the spirit. 
But I keep trying to tell y'all, man. Yo, this flesh, don't get trapped in it, man. You got to rise above, right? Got to elevate, as Judah would say. It says here, the quake struck in the early hours of the morning when most residents were asleep, right? Most residents were asleep, and their whole houses, they whole, they whole house got uprooted. A family of four, including two boys, aged eight months and nine years, were buried in their house in Akamoli, or Akumoli. I don't even know how to say that. It's a weird word. I wonder what it means. Accumuli, <laughs> accumuli, accumuli, like accumuli, like accumulating a lie, right? Accumuli, imploded. The rescue workers carried away the body of the infant, carefully covered by a small blanket. The children's grandmother blamed God. You see that? He took them all at once, she wailed. So you imagine the children's grandmother, God. She blamed God. God, you the mother, you mother, m m m m the most high, damn you. You killing all my folks. That, you see that? Who blames God, yo? Right? So obviously, she fell underneath the pressure, right? Right? At least she could have did like Job and just wailed and complained. But she went straight up and blamed God, yo. You see? That's why all these, these demons and devils is unleashed. These angels of chaos is unleashed. Doing battle, you know. The righteous angels of destruction is unleashed. While the evil, wicked, demonic spirits are getting everyone complacent. And loving their idols. <laughs> it's crazy man so yeah this is what I woke up to this morning it says the army was mobilized to help with special equipment and, tre and the treasury released 265 million dollars worth of euros an emergency fund at the Vatican Pope Francis cancelled part of his general audience to pray for the victims you see what I'm saying he had to cancel part of his general audience. You know, even the devils were interrupted. <laughs> you know, it says here, aerial photographs showed whole areas of Am Amatrice, Amatrice, Am Amatrice Slice, Amatrice Slice up Rome. Boy, I'm telling you. Amatrice voted last year as one of Italy's most beautiful historic towns. Flattened by a 6.2 magnitude quake. Flattened. Voted last year as Italy's, one of Italy's most beautiful historic towns. Right? So y'all must think that y'all history means a lot to, to the most high. You know what I'm saying? What y'all care about means a whole lot to the most high. That's what you think. You just keep on keep on going. You need to be giving praises to what the most high is doing and revealing to you. You know? The spirit of Yahweh amongst Yashara waking us up. All the time, all day, every day. It don't stop, man. It don't sleep. We sleep. The spirit of Yahweh don't sleep, man. Right? It's all it's all young people here. One one guy from the town said it's holiday season. So who knows what they were celebrating, right? The town festival was to have been held the day after tomorrow. Hint hint. You remember that movie? The day after tomorrow. So lots of people came for that. So a lot of people will be coming for the day after tomorrow. See, you can't stop these people. You can't stop these people from talking. And that's how Yahweh's going to get them, man. Y'all can't stop talking, man. Unless the Most High makes you stop talking. But the more you talk, the more you're letting out in creation. You know? 
and I'm happy, man. I'm ha I'm happy when I see earthquakes hit Rome. You know. Sure, you know, I'm not happy for the people who die, you know, and for wasted souls. But you all know the scriptures, you know. Residents responding to wells muffled by tons of brick and mortar sifted through the rubble with their bare hands before emergency services arrived with earth-moving equipment and sniffer dogs. Wide cracks had appeared like open wounds on the buildings that were still standing. Peep that imagery. Do y'all hear that, man? Do y'all hear that? You know that the media is going to report and cover what they want to report. But you need to really listen to word. You know? Really listen to word. Right? All you brothers and sisters out there in Yashara, or anybody who's listening to this, you know, these these could be some of the final broadcasts here before the purge happens, you know what I'm saying? This could be some of the final broadcasts, man. So I, I, I say, you know, all praises to Yahweh, man. Gird up your loins like the scriptures say. You brothers in the highways and byways, hey, you better praise Yahweh, man. Because your Christ is going to kill you, no doubt. Your Christ is going to kill you, man. <laughs> and I mean that both ways. You know what I mean? Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi said he would visit the, 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 the disaster area later in the day. No one will be left alone. No family, no community, no neighborhood. We, we must get down to work to restore hope to this area, which has been so badly hit. He said in a brief televised address, right? So you brothers and sisters out there need to take that as a word to you from the Most High. No one will be left alone. No family, no community, no neighborhood. We must get down to work to restore hope to this area, meaning Yashara, which has been so badly hit. We've been hit up by the world, man. Badly. So it's, it's up to us to, to restore hope, man. The quake, the quake hit during the summer when the area, usually sparsely populated, hosted large numbers of holiday makers, right? Just, just an unfortunate quake, right? Out of the, ruining their holiday. God forbid, right, that an earthquake ruin your holiday. God forbid that you know, floods ruin your holiday. Disaster relief. Then you got people mobilizing at Home Depots to come help you out. Bring supplies. Make you regroup. Get your mind back right. Then you can analyze what happened. You know, these kind of catastrophes do more than just shake up homes, houses, businesses, structures. They shake up souls and people. Think about the people who survived that, man. They'll never forget that. It changes them, man. It rocks your soul. No pun intended. If y'all just look at, uh, look at the footage, you'll see rocks in the street, rubble. Big boulders. Imagine the people who were walking. Maybe people were romantically involved walking down the the, uh, the the romance of Italy. Get it? Romance. And then the big boulders, boulders just fell on them. Just like big boulders keep smacking y'all dirty camps in the face. These big boulders of Torah. Right? Y'all getting tore up. Right? Talking about in the name of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, y'all getting tore up. You know what I mean? It says the earthquake caused damage in three regions. Umbria, Lazio, and Marche. And was felt as far away as the southern 
Italian port city of Naples. Yep. Three quarters of the town is not there anymore. The town of Amatrice. There are voices under the rubble. The damage was made more severe because the epicenter was at a relatively shallow four kilometers before the surface of the earth, or beneath, I should say. Below, residents of Rome were awoken by the tremors, which rattled furniture, swayed lights, and set off car alarms in most of central Italy. Right? It was so strong, it seemed the bed was walking across the room by itself with us on it. Lena Mercantini of Cecily, Umbria, said, she told Routers. Another woman said, Dear God, it was awful. The walls creaked and all the bookshelves, bookshelves fell. Sixty aftershocks in the four hours following the initial quake, the strongest, strongest measuring 5.5. Italy sits on two fault lines, making it one of the most seismically active countries in Europe. The last major earthquake to hit the country struck the city of La Aquila in 2009, killing more than 300 people. It says the most deadly since the start of the 20th century came in 1908 when an earthquake followed by a tsunami killed an estimated 80,000 people in the southern regions of Reggio, Calabria, and Sicily. 80,000 people. So I know all you uh, Googlers out there, you know, we Google, we Google stuff, right? Google 1908 earthquake you know what I'm saying Google 1908 earthquake and see what was going on at the Vatican what was going on with the, the papal in 1908 right at the turn of the century what was going on over there 80,000 people in the southern regions of Regio, 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 Calabria, and Sicily were killed. Hmm. Yep. Wake up today, earthquake tomorrow. Is this the way it goes, y'all? So... Think about that. It makes you wonder, right? All these earthquakes and natural disasters going on. People say, oh, man, it's written in the Bible. It's written in the Bible. But people always say that, but they don't know. People don't know how instrumental they are in making that happen, too, with their thoughts, with their feelings, with their emotions. If you're not in a still place, like to be still, right, in a still place of peace, in peace of mind, then you're going to be affected by all of that, man. No doubt. And we know that the mind of Yahweh is far reaching than our own minds. We know. That's right. Any brothers and sisters out there who know not to forsake Yahweh, then you know that Yahweh will protect you and be a shield for you and encourage you and strengthen you throughout your day right so I didn't intend for this to be a long lesson or anything like that but just some commentary you know and don't expect me to be always commenting on things that are happening in the news all that all that stuff because we know it's going to just keep the media is the media they're going to keep reporting on everything but just to shed some light you know you know, Deuteronomy 7.23, Yahweh, thy power shall deliver them unto you and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction until they be destroyed, right? 
So all you brothers and sisters out there who are more spiritually inclined, who can see things of the mind, and the Most High has given you dominion over certain functions and certain activities here upon this earth through your mental, then take, you know, now's your time to stand up. Right? Now's your time to stand up. Unleash your powers upon this place. Because the Most High gave them to you to do that. You just can't be afraid, man. Some of your own are going to perish. You may even perish through the magnitude of your own power. But don't let that, you know, don't let that discourage you. Because, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, you are an eternal being. Right? Let me encourage you. You know? Hmm. So I guess that's something to think about, you know? You know, Psalms 35, 8, man. Let destruction come upon him unawares. And let his net that he hath hid catch himself into that very destruction. Let him fall. Right? Same goes out there for you Sakaris out there. Right? Y'all call yourself Sakari. Do y'all even know what the Sakari was? Yet now you want to put out peacemaking videos. Got, a, got one of y'all own brothers putting out peacemaking videos. Sakari wasn't about making peace. You know what I'm saying? Or you could argue that Sakari was about making peace for Yashara, right? <laughs> See, that's what happens, man. You take up that name, right? Sakari. Most High going to put you to the test on that name, bruh. You know how we say now, bruh. <laughs> Right? Anybody claiming blades, blade work, you know the most high gonna put you to the test on that. Daggering, assassinating folks, you know, in open market squares and places. Yeah, yeah, Sakari. Are you prepared to be daggered up in the open market places and exposed for the Yasharal to see? Are you prepared for that? Hmm. You see all these people, man. That's why I, I, I don't see. I have. That's why I'm so. I feel blessed, man. That Yahweh gave me um, a name, born here, and I didn't have to seek out a name. You know what I'm saying? But in that responsibility, hey, man, my life is lived for the spirit of Yahweh, no doubt. Brothers out there seeking out these names and not putting in any work, not understanding. That the name means something. You call yourself Sakari, well, you're going to get held to the same standard as Sakari. Right? I guess you, you must be prepared to do anything, even commit suicide then. You know what I mean? If you want to be zealot and zealous in that manner. Right? But make no mistakes. Yahweh, man, is putting out, putting out the ropes, man. Yahweh is the Savior. Y'all need to come back, man. Destruction will, will be put out. Yahweh's calling y'all back, man. Yep. Anyhow, I'm just going to end that right there because, you know, Yahweh got angels here 
you brothers out there forsaking the scriptures. I need to get me some coffee and uh, get this day going. But um, hopefully it, it was edifying in a way. Didn't take up too much of your time. And uh, probably upload another one of these morning walks that I did. I haven't uploaded it yet. And uh, all praises to Yahweh, man. It's your brother Yahweh Shah, <laughs> a.k.a. Josh, giving you something to think about, something to reflect upon. You know, that's all we are is reflections of Yahweh, man. Yeah, all you brothers out there claiming power, oh, yeah, the Most High is going to put you to the test. See if that power can stand up to the eternal. And you already see what the earth, what places of the earth uh, are doing. You already see that they're not standing up, right? As man continuously builds, 